Ken had $15 more than Lisa at first. After Ken gave some of his money to Lisa, he had $21 less than Lisa. How much money did Ken give to Lisa? Now, this question is what is known as an internal transfer problem where one person is just giving to the other person. All right, and hence the total is the same. So what is happening is for Ken and Lisa at the start, Ken has this one box of money plus another $15. All right, and Lisa only has this one box. Now, since at the end, Lisa will have $21 more than Ken. Definitely, Ken has given away more than this $15. All right, to Lisa. Because if Ken only gave $15 to Lisa, then Lisa would have $15 more as compared to Ken. But that's not the case, right? Lisa has $21 more than Ken. So let's say, for example, this red section, this red section here is given to Lisa. Okay, if we do a dotted line here, draw a dotted line here. Okay, this dotted line, this box is the same as this box. Please take note of that. All right, now the red section, where does it go? The red section goes to Lisa here. Okay, again, there is that box there plus $15. All right, take note, this box, which we originally highlighted, right, is the same as this one, which is now the same as this box as well. Because why? This red big box, we shifted it down. And in this red big box, there is that one similar small box here, plus $15. So for Ken, right, at the end, his money will be this green section. Uh, as for Lisa, her money will be this green section here. So if you realize, the $21 that Lisa has more than Ken will be this part. Okay, so how much money did Ken give to Lisa? To do this, we need to know what is the value of one of these boxes. So, two units is equals to $21 minus $15, $6. We can find one unit. Alright, so $3 will be this particular small box here. And since we want to know how much it can give to Lisa, which is essentially how much is this question mark here, the red box, right? The big red box. That will just be $3 plus $15. Answer, $18.